Well, there is no doubt that Fastering Desire is the best free-to-play weapon for Furina. Who would have ever thought that the old forgotten weapon is going to be so useful now? But, if you're not old as the Arkans, then just like me, you also didn't get your hands on this weapon. Otherwise why would you even clicked on this video? But, what if I tell you? There is a free-to-play weapon, which is pretty similar to Fastering Desire. No, I'm not kidding. Do you remember the catch? Yes, the free 4-star pole arm, which you can get an R5 version, just by torturing yourself with countless hours of fishing, which is now the best free-to-play weapon for Rod and Shogun, and also for this cute little chef. And just like before, Hoyaverse released a free-to-play weapon, which you can get an R5 version by fishing again, but this time it's a sword, which is going to be the best free-to-play weapon for Furina. So, in this video I'm gonna show you the fastest and efficient way to get Fluv Sandri Ferryman. Uh, as you guys can see even though I'm an AI, I also having a hard time to spelling that. So from now on I will call it the metal pipe. Are you guys ready for torturing yourself from fishing again? Then let's jump into the video. Before we start fishing, we need an important thing. Yes, the baits. So there is three types of new bait recipes, which you'll have to purchase from the fishing association. First, go to Sumeru and interact with this NPC to get the sugar drew bait. And lastly, go to Fontaine and interact with this NPC to get the other two as well. Also, purchase this stabilizer for easier fishing experience. This is the difference between fishing with a stabilizer and without a stabilizer. We need to catch four new types of fish, which can only be found in Fontaine. To get the metal pipe, we need four platinum collection NECA fish, 10 rippling heart feather base, 10 blazing heart feather base, and 12 streaming axe marlin. Also we need four martins omnifix. Each of this will provide a refinement to the metal pipe, to bring it up to refinement 5, and each of the omnifix requires, two platinum collection NECA fish. 5 Rippling Heart Feather Base, 5 Blazing Heart Feather Base, and 6 Streaming Axe Marlin. Let's round up everything that you need to catch for the metal pipe. 12 Platinum Collection Neckafish, 30 Rippling Heart Feather Base, 30 Blazing Heart Feather Base, and 36 Streaming Axe Marlin. In total, that is 108 fish just for the metal pipe. The Platinum Mecha fish can be found in only one location, which is near Poise Saw. These fish can only be caught at night, so adjust your clock accordingly. Use the mech bait to catch these fish. The next couple of fishes are the base. These fish can be found at seven different locations. Use sour bait to catch both of them. But each of them spawns at different time. The rippling base spawns at the night time. And the blazing base spawns at the day time. In my opinion, catch fish on every location, both night time and the day time, to catch them simultaneously. At last, we have the marlins. There are total six different locations in Fontaine to catch marlins. These fish spawns at both day time and the night time. So you will have no shortage of these fish. Use sugar dew bait to catch them. After you catches all the fish in your current world, then you'll have to wait for 3 days to respawn more fish. It takes me around 4 worlds of fishing to get the weapon and all the refinements, so you'll have to wait around 9 days to get the R5 weapon. But, if you're also impatient just like me, then you can raid on other people's world. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Well, after you catch all the fish, just come to this Fontaine Fisherman and trade all your fish to get the weapon and all the refinements. Congratulations, now you have the weapon. Now, let's come to the biggest question. Is this weapon worth farming? Well, if you're a new player and don't have any other alternatives or someone else using it, then this weapon is going to be the best free-to-play weapon for your Furina. This weapon have an energy recharge secondary stat. And the passive increases elemental skill crit rate and energy recharge. Whenever you use elemental skill, 
Furina's elemental burst gives buff to your whole team. Also, the burst has more than 100% uptime. So you have to avoid any types of energy issues. And this weapon particularly solves this problem. Maybe some of you didn't get Furina, or have other good alternatives. Despite being that, you farmed this weapon, and want someone else to use this weapon. Then don't worry, I got you. You can give this weapon to Xingqiu. Xingqiu's ER will going to increase significantly. And if you run 4 piece emblem set, then the ER will gonna increase the elemental burst damage as well. I got her signature weapon, so I'm also going to give this weapon to someone else. Also, there's many other characters who can use this weapon. If you're interested, then read this post on Hoyalab. I will put the link in the description section. So, that's being said, that's it for this video. If you find this video informative, then consider liking this video. And most of you guys didn't subscribe yet. So, please subscribe, that will means a lot. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, let's meet in the comments section. Have a great day, bye.